Well, good morning, Ray Slane, and uh, welcome to another one of our assemblies. Uh, listen, we're going to get straight into our story. Um, a big question always, who is Jesus? And our story is going to help us understand something more about him. I hope you see the big picture uh, building up week after week. I'm going to test you again um, at the end uh, and see what you can remember from our stories of the last number of weeks. But to help us with our story today, I got a little cartoon video. So the video is going to tell you the story. So off you go, have a good listen, and I'll come back and explain uh, and help us understand one or two bits. So here's our story. This is Jesus, who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Jesus did many amazing things. He taught everyone about God's love healed people from their sickness, <laughs> and even calmed storms. The news of Jesus had spread all around and many people wanted to come and see what he was doing. No matter where Jesus went, great crowds of people would follow him. Jesus went to his own town, and news spread that he was back home. Ow! Soon, the house where he was staying was packed. So Jesus began to preach God's word to the people. Meanwhile, some men heard that Jesus was in town. So they decided to take their paralyzed friend to him to be healed for their friend wasn't able to walk. Hey, excuse me. Huh? But when they got to the house, they couldn't reach Jesus because of the crowd. Oh, well. No! So they went to the roof, uh, what? and dug a hole right above Jesus. Uh, we got this. Then they lowered their friend down into the crowd right in front of Jesus. Hey, everybody, how's it going? Jesus saw their faith, so he said, Son, your sins are forgiven. There were some Pharisees and teachers of religious law in the room, though, and they were horrified that Jesus would say such a thing. They said to themselves, Who does he think he is? Only God can forgive sins. Jesus knew what they were thinking, so he asked them, Why do you question this? Is it easier to say to this man, your sins are forgiven, or stand up, pick up your mat, and walk. Ah, uh, what? Jesus went on to say that he would prove to them that he was allowed to forgive sins. Yeah, I'm right. And so Jesus said to the paralyzed man, stand up, pick up your mat, and go home. Uh, okay. So the paralyzed man stood up and picked up his mat. Yeah, 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 yeah. The entire room was stunned as the man walked out through the crowd. All were amazed and praised God, saying, We've never seen anything like this before. And they believed that God had sent Jesus with the authority to forgive sins and the ability to help the hurting. How was that then? A amazing story that is now what a great group of friends they were imagine going to all that trouble to bring your friend who couldn't walk couldn't move on his own to meet Jesus and you know it's an interesting story isn't it because their friends expected or hoped really hoped that the main thing that Jesus would do would be to make their friend well so he could uh, run around so he could walk, so he could maybe even go and play football with them or, or just run some races together rather than having to be carried around on a mat. But remember from the story, Jesus did something quite incredible before he made the man well and enabled him to get up and walk. When the men lowered him down through the roof, Jesus looks up and seeing their faith it says to him 
son, and he calls the man his son, your sins are forgiven. What's Jesus on about? Because this man really, really wanted to be made well first and foremost. Now, there were people in the crowd, religious leaders, who knew, and the people knew that only God could forgive sins. So Jesus, by claiming that he could forgive this man's sins, was actually making a really big statement. Jesus was claiming that he was God with them. God living amongst them. Remember, we've said this is good news. And this is part of the good news story that God came down in the form of a baby, Jesus, and lived amongst us. We'll tell that story more about Christmas. But what was it that Jesus said to the man? Son, your sins are forgiven. It's an unusual word, isn't it? We don't really overly use it in our, our language today. But let me just help you try and understand it a little bit. This is what sin is. See how we've spelt that with a s, an e, and an e. But the e is huge. And what sin really is, is sin is putting the I before God, me, anything to do with me before God, anything that we place in front of God, the Bible talks, is a sin. If we fail to love God with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind, with all our strength, then that's what the Bible calls sin. So all of us have sinned. There's not one of us who haven't. And the great news is that Jesus came to forgive sins. And this story helps us understand that. He's got power and authority to forgive sins. Why? Because he is God here on earth with us. Well, the story doesn't end there. And I bet you're glad it didn't end there, aren't you? And I bet his friends were, and I bet you the man on the mat was there. Because Jesus said to the crowd, listen, just so you know that I do have the power and authority to forgive sins. I say to you, young man, I say to you, son, get off your mat, get up and walk. And that's exactly what he did. Quite incredible, eh? Amazing, really, that that is what he did. And we know from the reaction of the crowd that they were amazed at what they'd seen, astonished by the events, but not just by what they'd seen, but also by what they'd heard. And I say a short prayer to finish our assembly in a moment. But before we do, here's a slide. Can you remember the four big things that we've talked about over the last number of weeks that Jesus has power and authority over? See if you can get them all right. No big prizes. Uh, just see if you can get them all right. And then I'll come back and pray. How do you get on? All right. Do you remember some of those stories we told? Sickness. Wind and the waves. Power and authority, even over death. And our story today, to forgive sins. Let me just pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for our time in our assembly this morning. Thank you for our time with the Rice Lane children. We pray that you be with them and bless them. Keep them safe. Help them to learn well. Help them to be good friends to each other. 
Uh, we pray for those who would teach them and care for them in school. We pray for them, those who teach and uh, look after them and care for them at home. Um, and that you bless their families and bless their school. And so keep us safe, Lord Jesus, we pray, until we meet again. Amen.